a YouTube. Today we'll just be taking a look at this um, bokeh effect, but we'll also be adding a few things to it, like a uh, kind of space scene and um, a couple of lens flares and some smoke and some sparks. And yeah, so let's get on to it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Photoshop, quite obviously. Um, you want to click File, New, and you want to make the screen your um, screen the screen size your screen resolution. Like so. Click OK. Then want to um, snap to um, yeah, so f make it fit. So control and uh, zero. Uh, you then want to hold on Alt, press backspace to fill it with black. Um, you then want to get your and click the foreground color box, and you want to change this one to fifty um, or thirteen if you want. Fill that. Double click it. And you want to give it a gradient overlay, make that gradient overlay, blend mode overlay, surprisingly. Um, you want to click the green bar, I've made a preset here, I'll click it. Um, and if it's not there, you can just copy my hex here. So, there. Double click. And for this one, it's okay, I'll tell you what, I'll read them out. So, zero zero one five two A and B four zero zero FF. So once you've got those, you click OK, and you want to make the angle forty five. Click OK again. Um, you want to uh, make a new layer. You want to control and click this layer and hold up and press E. So don't let go, go of your control button. So, because uh, if you press E, it will just come up with the brush, uh, the, uh, the eraser tool, and then V to change back to the uh, move tool. But control and E will merge it down, and you probably want to name it to something like just background, as if uh, you never did anything to it. So um, you then now want to make a new group. Within that new group, you want to make a new layer. Um, and you can rename this boot group to bouquet and I'm not sure but I think it deletes it but yeah it must have um, you want to make a new layer and you want to put that above the bouquet layer and you want to get your elliptical marquee tool you want to drag out somewhere between here press D to default your uh, foreground colour and background colour so D on your keyboard um, hold down Alt and press Backspace, plus V, and then hold down Control and press D to deselect. You then want to make the fill 50, so you can just uh, hide that for now. Double click it, give it a stroke, and that stroke size 6, and do the same as you did with this layer. So make a new layer, Control and click it, press E. Um, what you want to do now is you want to go edit, define brush preset, and you can name this bouquet if you want. Click OK, delete this layer, view this layer, select this layer, get your brush tool, and make it some between um, white, yeah, and the color 500. I mean, I mean, color white, um, size 500, yeah. So, what you want to do now is you want to make your Bouquet group, blend mode, color dodge. You want to select your layer again. You want to go into your brush options, and if they're not there, go window, brush. So once you've done that, you want to, um, yeah. So, oh yeah. So before you do any of that, you want to select this brush. Tell me if I'm going too fast, and I'll see if I can slow down in any of my other tutorials. Uh, okay, so. If you get shape dynamics. Uh, you want to make the size to a hundred percent. Check your scattering and make the scatter one thousand percent. And the count two and the count jitter one hundred percent. And you want to make 
check your transfer and you want to make both the opacity and flow jitter 100% so once you've done that you want to drag across here an average of three times I'd assume um, or get rid of that if you want if you want to make um, the brush size 500 because that's what I'm going to do so then I can just keep going down like that so make it new there um, 300 100 Okay, so once you've got that, you want to select your bottom layer here, layer 1, and you want to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then want to make the blur, uh, the blur radius 5, you then want to do the same with this layer, except you want to make the radius 2.5, so just half of that blur, then you want to get this layer, and you want to go filter, sharpen, sharpen, and once you've done that, you want to, um, I'll down control and press O to open this um, space picture. I'm obviously going to put a link in the description so you don't have to um, worry about looking for it. So once you've got that open, you just drag it into this tab and then don't let go and drag it into here. And then there you go, let go. Hold down control and press T. Um, you want to make it fit like that. And put this above the bouquet group. Right, um, to fit that. Make it linear dodge. Um, hold on, control and press U. Make it colorize. It's about here, kind of. Why? Uh, make it 75. The saturation 75. Yeah. Uh, you then want to open a. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, that's right. Screenshot. So this smoke. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description for all the uh, screenshots that we that we've used in this tutorial. So then you won't have to worry about asking me and then waiting like a day or so until I reply. Um, yeah. So once you fit that, um, just make the height minus. Press enter. Uh, make that um, blend mode linear dodge. Um, again, make a new layer. Or you can just uh, open, open it, and it will make itself a new layer. So you want to select this lens flare, drag it in here. There you go. So make, again, make it linear dodge, and you want to drag it somewhere here. Which looks pretty nice. Open the other lens flare, dirty anamorphic one. Um, so just drag that in there. Put it somewhere, kind of. Wait a minute. Yeah, that look enough. Oh. No, 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 that's, that's good enough. So again, make the blend mode linear dodge and hmm, oh, I might press. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, that's looking pretty neat so far. And um, I mean, I know the contrast is a bit high with the bouquet, but you can. Uh, uh, there's all sorts of ways to tackle that, but I'm, uh, I don't know. I guess I can't be bothered. <laughs> um, yeah. So next thing you want to do is get in your sparks. Um, yeah. So just fit that again. Enter fit. And you dodge. And that's pretty much it. You can um, make a new layer. You can. Um, 
get your brush tool, default your color set, select this brush here, and you can just hold down shift and go along the top like that, side, bottom, left side, um, let's try again. kind of just makes it look a little more professional so it's not just color th being thrown at you. Um, so you can now press V to bring up your move tool and you can make this 12 and a half 112 and a half which is half of 25 so 12 and a half, half of 25 so yeah so there you go there's your you can then paper top, so you can you can do so much to this you don't even have to add any of any of this you can just leave it as a bouquet but yeah that's just these are just other ways of enhancing it don't know why I pressed one either way um, just remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video see you guys it's Crown Jr from Misty Arms Source see you